we have endomembrane system right so in the pie chart itself we have seen that how favorite this topic is a huge number of questions have been came up from this particular topic only it's a hot favorite right so a very important topic first of all don't skip it not even a single component of it so when we talk about the endomembrane system how this particular thing is been described in ncrt that whatever components are going to be present over here they will be having well coordinated functions right each one of them requires the other one for the completion of its you know function you could say that so all the functions are regulated like uh, it is uh, in the layman language you could understand it like this that when the first organelle finishes its functions it goes to the next one so it works like an assembly line one work done here after completion it will goes to the next one and then goes on and then in the final stage it will be released for the actual function that uh, has to be performed so endomembrane system mein jo components hai there are four components and we'll begin with endoplasmic reticulum the very first one right why we are beginning with this because the outer membrane of the nucleus is continuous with this particular uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum right so that is the reason this is going to be the first component so jab hum is particular component ki baat karte what are the important features that's been mentioned the very first one is ki jab bhi aap er ki baat karte ho so er ye cell ko do parts mein divide karta hai one is the extra luminal that is outside the er and one is the luminal that's being inside the er now why this particular er is so important because it is uh, you know helps in the synthesis of the important biomolecules which are proteins and lipids right so plasma membrane is also being made up of that so these uh, endoplasmic reticulums are associated with the synthesis of these molecules so this is really important so when we talk about er there could be two types one is rer another is ser right now you with the diagram that's again been given in the ncrt itself you could clearly see the difference between the two the very first one is the presence of these ribosomes over here these granular structures over here they are entirely absent in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum region right and you could also see that the outside of this nuclear membrane this one is continuous with this particular rer right so this is the difference between rer and ser the two forms of endoplasmic reticulum so ncrt also mentions and asks the questions on it as well that rer is frequently observed in the cells that are involved in protein synthesis and secretion right kyunki hum jante hai ki rer associated hai ribosomes ke sath and in the junior classes also we have studied that ribosomes are the protein synthesizing machinery so that is why jo rer hai wo kiske sath associated hai protein synthesis ke sath and secretion ke sath also it's been clearly mentioned that extensive and continuous with the outer membrane of the nucleus a very important point over here also can be clear from the diagram also okay then the second ser which is being mentioned here it is the major site for synthesis of lipids right because it's not being associated with ribosomes so not associated with the synthesis of proteins it has been associated with the synthesis of lipids and in animal cells it has a special function to produce steroidal hormones lipid like steroidal hormones which helps in the control and coordination of different functions in the animal body so er and how it looks like right and what are its function that's been clearly mentioned over here